Shalom, Makim Wagwaf. First and foremost, call Loim La Yahweh Bashem Al Shah Bashem Chakurash. Double unto the elder apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the whole free elect tabernacle of David. Now try to imagine putting out a fire with more fuel. That's exactly what this devil is doing. And I mean, at this point, what he's trying to do, he's not even trying to hide it. He's talking about sending the people inflation relief by causing more inflation. That's that's literally what he's doing. <laughs> he's literally saying, I'm gonna aid you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you some relief of this inflation by printing out more money to give you what you'll cause more inflation. And uh, if you're not wise, you know, if you're not prudent, you'll think that this is uh, noble. You'll think that this devil, he really cares for you. He really is trying to, you know, make sure you don't, you know, that you don't fall all the way to the ground. You know, he's trying to hold you by the palm of his hand. You know, he's trying to be kind. No. This is the man being the devil. He's deliberately trying to... He, this, and this is what Biden was put in place for. He's put in place to deliberately kill off the petrol dollar because they got to issue in the you-know-what. We're already in a transformation. The, the stage is already set. The infrastructure is already rolled out. So this is from CBS News. Stimulus checks for inflation... Here are the states planning to send money to residents. And, you know, that little temporary relief, which all you're going to do with it is you're going to put half of that into your, uh, your your tank so you can get to work uh, each week. And that's probably only going to last maybe three, four weeks. And then, you know, a few groceries. And they talking about checks of up to 500. So, yeah, you're, you're going to run through that. That's nothing. But this is this devil trying to call himself, give you relief. See, let's say you should get an advantage of us. We're not ignorant of his devices. All right, this, this is another scheme. And the people are going to pay for it on the back end. You should, you should really never accept government, uh, the government lending you money. Because you're going to end up paying for it. But our people, so they're so accustomed to trusting in their oppressor. They 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 trust oppression. So I'm not gonna read this whole article. I'll probably read just a little bit of this, and then we're definitely gonna get some scriptures. But this is funny as hell to me, man. All right, this is only gonna further accelerate the the death of the petrol. You know, as they move into the transformation into. The, the 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 W E F C C B D C M O T B digital uh, control system because that's basically what this is. All right, this is the this is the uh, the secret council of the wicked. This is their heart's desire. All right, all these different psyops and, and and things that they're using as a Trojan horse to implement this whole thing. So it says roughly a dozen states are proposing sending take tax rebate checks to their residents to offset the highest inflation in four decades. Where are they going to get this money from? And then uh, creepy, sleepy pedo Joe, he just dished out uh, $13 billion. At least that's what they're saying. You know, he, he, he's, he's dished out several billion to aid those Ukrainians. And then it's going to bring 100,000 100, of them over here to, to the States. So they're using this guy. He's clearly a puppet, man. It says, with lawmakers on both sides of the aisle pointing to high gas and food prices as prompting their actions, among them is Governor uh, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, a Republican who on Wednesday signed a law to send checks of up to $500 to state residents. The reason, he said in a statement, is to soften the impact of inflation on household budgets 
and also returned some of mo some of money amid a record state budget surplus. All right, and people have been getting used to this since 2020. Just get just just you know receiving money from the government, not realizing where it's coming from. All they're doing is printing out more money, putting it in circulation. That's what's uh, heightening the inflation rate. This is the reason why the purchasing power of your dollar is diminishing. This is why your food products, the prices are, are increasing, skyrocketing. All right. That's why uh, shrinkflation in the markets is happening. Because they keep spending more money. And if you smart, anything that they given to you, you better take that and convert it into something that, that's valuable, something that it has worth. Otherwise, it's just you they're just like I said, they're adding more fuel to the fire. They're trying to put out a fire or lessen the fire with more fuel. That's not what you do. So it's clear as day what they're really trying to do. That's why the scriptures tell us never trust thine enemy. All right, so Rock 12 and 10, never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. You, you, you look closer, you, you, know, you wipe that glass and you'll see that the wickedness is still right there, man. All right, this is the same devil. He's, he never changes. He is not accustomed to do good. All right, because he's accustomed to do evil. All right. And then when you jump down to uh, verse 17, it says, if adversity come upon thee, and, you know, they acknowledging that people are suffering adversity. People are getting hit hard by the inflation. They're paying, they paying for it at the, uh, the gas pump, at the grocery stores, getting, you know, hella taxed. You got uh, the, the the mortgage crisis going on. So people are suffering adversity right now. And then and then Biden came out and pretty much told you right after he told you this is uh, uh, this is a new world order and we finna lead it. He told you, yeah, a food, a, a, a food shortage is coming and, and it is real. So they're already letting you know what it is. And adversity is 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 here. So what are they going to do? They're going to pretend like they got your best interest and they got the solutions for you. And, it, and it's already been planned out. All right. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. Right. And though he pretend to help thee, yet he shall undermine thee. And when you look up undermine. It says. The second definition says lessen the effectiveness of power or ability of especially gradually or insidiously so really they they pretending like they're helping you but really they're they're weakening you they're weakening your monetary system the purchasing power of your currency all right and and it's increasing poverty then you got increase in, in labor you got to work extra hours or or multiple jobs so it's going to get crazy, man. But he's gradually weakening your 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 livelihood by pretending to help you. He's making it extra uh, harder. And this is how they're going to keep their foot on your neck as they keep bringing out these uh, orchestrated engineer crisis. All right. Look up that word insidious. Because it says, especially gradually or insidiously, right? Let me see. Uh, it says weaken, damage. These are all the synonyms. But let me, uh, let me look up that word. Insidious. Insidious, proceeding in a gradual, subtle way, but with harmful effects. Let me, let me give you some aid money 
to help you out with, with this inflation that you're suffering from, even though it's going to add more, it's going to forward uh, more affliction. <laughs> it's going to, it's going to, it's going to make things worsen. So he's undermining you insidiously, you know, very subtly. All right. It says subtle, uh, surreptitious, sneaking, cunning, crafty. Does it not tell you that about uh, how this devil, you know, going back to the garden, you know, he was more subtle than any beast of the field. He's, he's a very crafty devil, man, very deceptive. Very slick and sly, man. All right. That's why it says, put on the whole armor of the most side that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All right. And these are part of his wiles, man, his, 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 uh, his, his, his cunning craftiness, you know, his methods, his tactics. All right. That's why it says, if he do good, he do it, he do it fit. Let me, let me get that. So rock 14 and seven, and if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly, and at the last, he will declare his wickedness. All right, because this is only going to further the demise of the petrol, and it's, and it's happening in various ways, especially with Biden doing all this printing. All right, he'll spend more money on them, them Ukrainian motherfuckers than to actually deal with the, the 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 food shortening crisis here that's because they all in on it so you already see what it is all right and i can see more uproar happening you know from from uh a lot of these uh patriotic edomites you know like uh like patrick howley them types they they gonna they finna go crazy soon man they see what's happening to their kingdom from their overlords. But Jake, you know, watch what, you know, Jake going to justify and be like, see, you know, you know, Biden, not that bad. He, he trying Get the fuck out of here, man. Everything got super worse once he got in. But let me get that in Isaiah. But this this for you, Jake. Is uh, Isaiah 30. And one, it says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not with my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Anybody that put their trust in, 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 in the, the modern Pharaoh, all right, you, you trust him more than you trust the Most High, then uh, woe unto you. All right, in this, uh, verse 12, it says, Wherefore, thus saith the, Lord, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because you despise his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. Therefore, this iniquity shall be unto you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. Let me read that in. Uh... Hmm. In LT, it says calamity will come upon you suddenly like a bulging wall that burst and falls in an instant. It will collapse and come crashing down right along with this system. Any anything that's aligned and, and attached to it, because you trust in it, you when it cra when it comes crashing down, you gonna crash with it. All right, and 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 you gonna faint, and you gonna be begging for 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 uh, the new world order. You are gonna be begging for them to bring on the solution. You are gonna be very quick to 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 go ahead and uh, connect yourself. You're going to get that, that, that digital ID. You're going to get the, uh, the, the, the implant, you know, so you can get your, uh, your, your digital dollars. 
You know, get your little food vouchers. That's going to be all on this digital device. So it's 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 gonna happen, man. It's gonna go down. All right, it's no time that to, to to have low faith, man. Build, you know, we all we and that goes for myself too. You know, we gotta pray that the Lord increase our faith, man. Because he he's this this devil, you know, he's not gonna take no break. All right, he he's he's moving pretty quickly, as the scriptures say. The devil know that he have but a short time. He's coming down with great ride because he knew that he had but a short time. All right. And let's go to uh, Isaiah 36 and 6. And it says, Lo, <clears throat> thou trusteth in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. You know? So, you know, Jake is in a bad case right now. And anybody that trusts in this devil, they're in a bad case. All right, we're seeing where this is going. All right, the, hey, the, the dollar can, can be gone, like, by, you know, midsummer of this year. It can go out by this summer. It can go out by the end of the year. And it'll be everything will be cashless by then. It can easily happen. At the rate that they're going with it, it, it that can very well happen. But we know that's been the plan since the beginning. All right. So anyway, you know, I thought I'd you know just bring this uh, article out, and uh, you know, I'll try to I'll put I'll post this in the uh, the description. All right, so. <laughs> Let's let's uh let, let's try to put out the fire or let's try to dwindle the fire by adding more fuel. So we're gonna give you stimulus checks for inflation, add into the inflation. Hyperinflation is imminent. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shemiah Shai. Shalom.